This is a UK poll, so I want to be clear about that. I know we're in the United States, the majority of our audience is in the United States, but it feels really, really good to know that um, older people in other countries also have uh, broken minds. Broken minds. When it comes to why. When it comes to why. Uh, 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 younger generations are struggling financially. Now, more than half of baby boomers, uh, they believe that the luxury lifestyle choices made by young people are to blame for their inability to save enough money. And so what accounts for luxury lifestyle choices? Because when I think of luxury lifestyle choices, I think about like jet setting. Think about going on a yacht, yacht. Mm. No, for them, I think about like jet setting. Think about going on a yacht, yacht. Buying coffee, jet setting, yacht, yacht. And not making your own coffee, luxury lifestyle choice. Uh, paying $15 a month for Netflix, yacht, yacht. Luxury lifestyle choice, if you just save that extra $15 a month, maybe you can buy a $1.5 million home. I think about like jet setting, think about going on a yacht, yacht. Yeah. You can't. <laughs> okay. Good luck. Now, um, so let's go to younger generations and what they themselves think about all of this. They actually kind of agree. Kind of agree. With older generations, which was a shocking part of the survey. Yes. They actually kind what? of agree with older generations. You don't say. In total, 48% of the UK public think that young people spend too much of their income on ta takeaway coffees and food, mobile phones, holidays abroad, and subscription services. The same portion of millennials actually agree with this view, as well as 43% of Generation Z. Hmm. What? Hmm. What? So I have a theory on that. Uh, where do we you know, uh, uh, Where do we get our ideas? We get them from. Family, friends, uh, school, jet setting, yacht, yacht, but also media, and this is the thing that I so I'm not, yeah I so I'm less familiar with UK media to be fair. So I'll just use my experience in U.S. media. Whoa, calm down, Jamal. Don't pull out the nine. <laughs> Constantly like all oh, the younger generations, they spend so much money doing this, 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 this. They actually. Kind of agree. So that probably got in the head of the younger generation too. Yeah. Uh, and I also want to address one other thing. Um, it's a little bit beside the point of this story, but obviously, uh, in the list of lux luxury lifestyle choices, they talk about traveling abroad, young people traveling abroad. Listen, uh, as the child of baby boomers who literally worked. <laughs> Their entire lives until they got to their golden years where they can 
go out there and travel. You know what happened to them once they got to their golden years where they could actually go out there and travel? They got sick. Like life isn't just about work, 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 so I'll add one more thing to that particular uh, line of thought. Uh, so uh, Netflix, your Netflix subscription? No, market forces yes. are what's actually to cause uh, for the issue here. Because our government is more corrupt. Considering, again, people were already at a significant disadvantage uh, with how the economy was already doing. Yep, go on vacation, <laughs> we're obsessed with that, okay? Have fun, enjoy your life. And by the way, when you come back from the vacation, change your government. We have corporate rule all across the world. We actual human beings have to fight against the machines. We actual human beings have to fight against the machines. Those corporate machines that have captured all of our governments, and most especially the American government. And they have these corporate policies that are driving up the prices, not you guys. <laughs> Luxury lifestyle choice. Jet setting, yacht, yacht. Can I help you with that? Are you sure? Absolutely. My lady is in distress and I'm here to rescue her. Thanks. Am I taking this? Well, it's only a few streets away. I'm moving in with my boyfriend. Fuck you. Oh! Democrats like to say that no one needs an AR-15 for self-defense. That no one could possibly need all 30 rounds. But when this rifle is the only thing standing between your family and a dozen angry Democrats in clan hoods, you just might need that semi-automatic and all 30 rounds. That's Jerome Davison, who is running for Congress. And uh, if you had to do a little bit of a double take there because he was accusing Democrats of being the ones uh, of wearing those hoods and Sowing all the terror in the country. Uh, yeah, that's that's what he's saying. He is uh, making the claim that it's not the right wing that's spouting white replacement conspiracy theories. That it's the Democratic Party putting on the hoods to terrorize black people in this country. Mm -hmm. And he claims we need the assault weapons. We need the assault weapons to what? To murder Democrats? We need the assault weapons to what? To murder Democrats? Democrats like to say that no one needs an AR-15 for self-defense. Based on the false premise that they are part of the Klan? For self-defense. What is Zeno? What is this? That I think is actually the part that bothers me least about this. I mean, it's deranged, like it's ahistoric and he knows that yeah, back in the day, if you were to go back 100 years ago, members of the Klan probably would be Democrats. And if they were alive today, they wouldn't be Democrats. I mean, like you can't have your cake and eat it too. You can't claim that the Democrats are just constantly like virtue signaling to non white Americans and giving them things and oh, also simultaneously, they're the actual KKK. Why not you stupid bastard? Or maybe you can, I don't know, a lot of Republicans probably like imagining that everyone is racist. As racist as they are. So who the hell knows, but that is the part that bothers me the least. The fantasy that is conjured up there bothers me so much more. It's like, I've, I've talked multiple times on the show about how ridiculous it is that, I, that these people think that they're gonna have to defend their house. From a roving band of marauders. KKK or otherwise. You think that deranged 16 year olds should be able to buy AR 15s if that's a necessary consequence of you being able to gun down a horde of KKK members as they storm with lawn equipment across your yard? That's what you think? As I always say, 
I, I play Dungeons and Dragons every week. I'm gonna play tonight. I, in that game, I'm a sorcerer. And Always say, I, I play Dungeons and Dragons every week. I'm gonna play tonight. I, in that game, I'm a sorcerer. And I have such a better connection to reality than you will ever have. You're a crazy person. Because I know that I'm playing a game. You think that you're being real. That's all madness. And I'm sure he doesn't believe any of that. The, the, the thing that makes me so deeply sick about this ad is that in the same way that the audience, when they see that ad, know everything that's going on there with the parts that need to be played and all that, he knows the role that he needs to play to get elected in the modern day Republican Party. And the whole thing is just utterly disgusting. When a disgusting racist gunman opened fire in a Buffalo supermarket to uh, murder black people, he was motivated, he was encouraged to do that by right wing domestic terrorists who want to slaughter you. Let's just keep it real. But what if you Tucker wanted Carlson to be interviewed Tucker Carlson is not a Democrat. Tucker Carlson is not a Democrat. What duh. Tucker Carlson, <laughs> Tucker Carlson, who sows fear and paranoia among white White, white, white individuals in this country is not a Democrat. <laughs> Democrats have tons of issues, okay? Um, putting on the white hoods and trying to slaughter black people is not one of them. Yeah. It's not one of them. I don't know how you're keeping calm. And I did not expect Dungeons and Dragons to make an appearance mm -hmm. in the context of this story. Nerds! 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 I look, I, I and just, I'm I fired understand. up because I'm sick of this garbage. This is why Republicans want to burn history books, because they want to uh, institutionalize, okay, the revisionist history that they fantasize about. Mm -hmm. Was it? Yeah, back in the day, if you were to go back 100 years ago, members of the Klan probably would be Democrats. So Americans are ignorant, so Americans don't understand their own identity. And the thing that really fascinates me is the unending obsession with violence. Oh, the right wing can't get enough. There's never enough mass shootings in the country for the right wing. There's never enough uh, assault weapons. Never enough. Uh, high capacity magazines. Never enough people getting slaughtered within our borders for the right wing. They love it, it's the number one death cult. It's the number one death cult. Not in this country, in the freaking world, mm -hmm. okay? There hasn't been a an unarmed black person who got shut down, who got shot down by a cop that they didn't delight in. Let's just keep it real. You'll see an unarmed black person running away from the cops and right wingers in America are falling over themselves to defend the cop. Mm -hmm. Because they love it, they love seeing it. But you're gonna put out an ad claiming that it's the Democrats putting on the white hoods? Man, I. I don't know what this guy's end goal is. Add? Yeah. I, I. He wants to be interviewed by Tucker Carlson. Get, get he knows a, that yeah. Tucker Carlson doesn't yeah. care if he lives Tucker or Carlson dies, but he wants to be interviewed by him. slaughter you, okay? Yeah. Not personally, Tucker Carlson would never get his hands dirty. <laughs> but he encourages others to want to slaughter you. To slaughter you. To slaughter you. <laughs> and you're putting out this ad, ad? Yeah, it's hilarious, it really is hilarious. The core part of being a right winger is fantasizing about an excuse to be able to start killing people. Like they're not just, most are not just gonna go out and kill a random person, the but they really want a justification for it. For self defense. All right, um, I, I, the left needs to arm itself. The left <laughs> needs to arm itself. <laughs> He was motivated, he was encouraged to do that by right wing domestic terrorists who want to slaughter you, to slaughter you. The left needs to arm itself. Tucker Carlson, who sows fear and paranoia. The left needs to arm itself. And the thing that really fascinates me 
is the unending obsession with violence. The left needs to arm itself. Yeah. Poor part of being a right winger is fantasizing about an excuse to be able to start killing people. The left <laughs> needs to arm itself. Gun laws aren't gonna change. The right wing is vicious. They can't wait to slaughter people. They fantasize about it every day. They even put it in their political ads. Yeah. The left at this point needs to be smart, get trained, arm yourselves. I don't know what's coming at this point. But how many times does the right wing need to tell you that they want to slaughter you for you to do what's necessary to protect yourselves? For self defense. We have one side of this country that's full of lunatics who salivate over mass deaths, mass murders. Yeah. And then you have the other side that's like still playing patty cakes, hoping that the Democrats are gonna protect them. Get armed. Get armed. Buy your guns, please keep them safe, lock them up. I don't know if you're ever gonna need to use them, I hope you don't. But at this point, I'm getting increasingly uncomfortable at the thought that you have right wing lunatics who are heavily armed. Get armed, constantly telling us that they wanna slaughter us. Okay. And we're just sitting, we're just sitting ducks. It's they already sent a mob to murder their own vice president. That was a couple years ago. Number one death cult in the world. Largest death cult in the world. The American yeah. right wing, they love death. Get armed. They tell us every single day and when they tell you who they are, you should believe them. Get armed. I'm a sorcerer. Look at that big ass, look at that big juicy booty. Look at that big ass, look at that big juicy booty. Look at that big ass, look at that big juicy booty. Look at that big ass, look at that big juicy booty. Yeah, he must work out. Look at Robert Bobby Cremo. Would you sell a gun to that guy? Does he seem like a nutcase? Of course he does. So why didn't anyone raise an alarm? Well, maybe because he didn't stand out. Maybe because there are a lot of young men in America who suddenly look and act a lot like this guy. A sudden attack is just true. Like Cremo, they inhabit a solitary fantasy world of social media, porn, and video games. They're high on government endorsed weed. Smoke some more, it's good for you. They're numbed by the endless psychotropic drugs that are handed out in every school in the country by crackpots posing as counselors. I don't know if Tucker Carlson knows this. No, let me, let me pause. Uh, Tucker Carlson does know this. Uh, School counselors uh, don't have the ability to write prescriptions for psychotropic drugs. Uh, but who knows, maybe there's an incoming war on school counselors next because the right wing is always looking for their next manufactured culture war. So brace for impact when that comes around. But of course, here's Tucker Carlson blaming social media, which is available in other countries. Porn, also available in other countries. Video games, definitely available in other countries. Marijuana, not only available in other countries, legalized in other countries. And uh, pharmaceutical drugs for the mass shooting that happened in Highland Park, Illinois over the 4th of July weekend. Anything, Anything to deflect from our failure as a country to do a damn thing about uh, uh, loose gun laws, easy access to guns by anyone and everyone, including this lunatic who opened fire at this parade in Highland Park. And uh, if you think what you've already seen is bad, get ready, it's about to get worse. And of course they're angry. They know that their lives will not be better than their parents. They'll be worse, that's all but guaranteed. They know that, they're not that stupid. They're angry. So here's Tucker Carlson engaging in the same faux populism that he typically engages in to signal to his audience that he understands them. You know, he is, of course, incredibly wealthy, sent his kids to boarding schools. Which, by the way, let me just keep it real. I know that's a rich person thing, sending your kids to boarding schools. If you don't want to be a parent, then don't have kids. If you don't want to raise your kids, you want to send them off for months at a time, don't have kids. We have enough disturbed minds in the country. We don't need more of them as a result of wealthy parents who don't want a parent having kids and then sending them off for months at a time at boarding schools. Just a side note, just a side note. But the Swanson heir is trying to signal to his audience that he understands the economic frustrations. The same economic frustrations that he has supported 
All right. Throughout his entire career that he has pushed for throughout his entire right. career. He has supported the very politicians who have put corporate profits over the lives and livelihoods of fellow Americans. But don't worry, he understands the frustrations All right. of these poor, poor, young white male shooters who decide to open fire and cause mass, de mass deaths in this country. He understands, he understands. I'm getting real tired of his pretend economic concerns. Okay. But he's building a case here that's essentially trying to provide cover for a mass shooter. Uh, 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 no, no. He understands. He understands why someone would open fire, right? I mean, that's kind of the case he's starting to build here. Kind of the case. All right. But is it? I don't know. I could be wrong. Let's let's watch the next video. And yet the authorities in their lives, mostly women, never stops lecturing them about their so-called privilege. You're male, you're privileged. Imagine that, try to imagine an unhealthier, unhappier life than that. So a lot of young men in America are going nuts. Are you surprised? I mean, can you blame all these young men in America who uh, all right. open fire and kill all these innocent people? 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 Are you surprised? Can you blame them? Can you blame them? It's the women's fault. It's the women, they're nagging the men and they're miserable. They're miserable, so they decide to buy assault weapons and show up to 4th of July parades and slaughter people. Can you blame them? Are you surprised? Are you surprised? Tucker Carlson very clearly stating that uh, it's understandable that this happened, it's understandable. Are you surprised? What I also love is that he started that segment by claiming, hey, or asking his audience, like, would you sell this guy a gun? I mean, look at him, would you sell this guy a gun? So I don't get it, Tucker. What are you advocating for here? Are you advocating for a policy that would just automatically deny guns to guys who look like the mass shooter in Highland Park, Illinois? All right. So like you want to go more extreme than red flag laws. Just on face alone. On face alone we can deny uh selling you a gun. Okay. Of course he's not calling for that. Are you surprised? But how insanely disgraceful and pathetic was that segment? I mean, he's got this past and present, I mean, he still spouts these conspiracy theories. About how white people are being replaced in America. And that was the exact conspiracy theory that persuaded another insane person to open fire in Buffalo, New York. Because you know, he was paranoid about white replacement. Tucker Carlson seems to want to provide some sort of pipeline. Fox to prison pipeline. He spouts his talking points. His hateful, disgusting rhetoric. He riles up lunatics in the country. They then turn around, open fire, kill innocent people. And then he'll come back on his show and say, Are you surprised? I mean, couldn't you guys see this coming? I mean, can you really blame him? <laughs> the women in his life, am I right? I don't know which situation's going on in his household with his wife. Maybe she's nagging him. Maybe he's got some issues there. I don't know. I don't care. Okay. To blame what happened in Highland Park, Illinois on anyone or anything other than the fact that the person who opened fire was a lunatic who should not have had access to firearms. Would you sell a gun to that guy? Does he seem like a nutcase? Of course he does. So why didn't anyone raise an alarm? Is absolute BS. I'm not interested in hearing any other argument. This is a guy who had authorities show up to his home on two different occasions because he was a threat. Does he seem like a nutcase? Of course he does. So why didn't anyone raise an alarm? Because he had threatened to kill himself and on a different occasion threatened to kill everyone else with the weapons he had in his room. Cops had to confiscate all of his 
knives and swords and daggers or guys daggers or guys daggers as a result of that guys. and then after that happened he was able to legally buy firearms and knives and swords and daggers guys planned the shooting that he did planned another shooting but the point that i'm trying to make here is it is amazing the extreme lengths that Tucker Carlson is willing to go to to avoid ever having to blame the problem that we're facing in this country with mass shootings on guns and the kind of rhetoric we hear from the right wing that sows fear, division, and paranoia, knives and swords and daggers among our white, 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 white fellow Americans, particularly young white men sows fear, division, and paranoia. He encourages a lot of it. So I guess in some ways, I'm not that surprised. Okay. But I'm not gonna provide cover for a mass shooter. All right. By blaming women in his life when there's absolutely no evidence indicating. His rage, his violence was fueled by women, it wasn't. But anything to avoid having to talk about the real problem. The Swanson air, racist rhetoric, unhinged conspiracy theories, poisoning the minds of young men in this country who have easy access to weapons. Culture war. Tucker Carlson knows what the real cause is. Just trying to distract you from the truth. Don't have kids, slaughter people. Can you blame, them? are you surprised? Okay. <laughs> the women in his life, am I right? The Swanson heir. Like, 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 like